Hey guys, my name is Nathan Darby. I am the husband of Melissa Darby, and she has she had some homework that was due. Um, she wanted to talk about glycemic index, and I am diabetic. Glycemic index it relates to diabetes in a certain way because we use that to some of us use that to help monitor our blood sugars. So. What better thing to do when your wife asks you to do something than just to do it? So, I'm attempting to make a video for you. So, don't judge me. I'm going to do the best I can. Um, ultimately, I've uh, been diabetic for 31 years. And um, you've got to have, before we talk about the glycemic index and part of you know what I know, first off, I'm going to give you the 101 speech. Uh, about glycemic index and may touch on some of the diabetic, uh, some of the diabetic stuff and and how we use it. So, um, let's see. If you got to have a little bit of a common understanding of how your body breaks down carbs. Um, we'll call them carbs because um, the body obviously breaks down more than just carbs. But you have a pancreas, and I'm going to use a balancing scale. Okay, so. You've got a pancreas on one end playing, and you've got on the other end, you've got food and carbs and what, you're, what you put into your body. So from a diabetic standpoint, my objective is control. I want to be able to control my blood sugar, which is the food side, um, and I want them to not be able to play a whole bunch. I want this to be a very boring game, meaning I want to keep my blood sugar level and, you know, food... The carb side, uh, if I start to eat something and it starts to go down a little bit, I want to be able to put insulin right here and keep this thing level. What you don't want is this game. That's not a very fun game. You don't have very good control. Uh, really bad. See, where you guys benefit is you've got a robot playing on this end because your pancreas works. Mine does not. So as I eat uh, food, it goes down like this and it sits like there and then I have to check my blood sugar and I'm like, oh my gosh, I got to check my blood or... I, gotta, I have a high blood sugar, and then so then I have to give myself a shot, and the insulin comes in and bounces back out. So I want this game to be very boring and very flat. So you gotta have to a little bit of an under, you have to have an understanding um, of how the carbs relate to the insulin. So insulin and carbs they balance each other out, and you'd love to have just a standard blood sugar. So 80 to 120 is a is the typical. Uh, blood glucose that you'd want to be able to keep. Um, it helps with your uh, A1C, and I won't get into all that. That's diabetic mumbo jumbo talk. So, um, the the key there though is diabetic control um, to be able to keep as much control of your blood sugar as you possibly can. So let's talk about glycemic index. So glycemic index it was an is basically an indicator. Um, actually, let me reverse a little bit. Let me go into a different in a different direction. Um, what if I said um, I'm going to eat 50 carbs of apples? Okay, 50 carbs of apples on this side, and it starts to lower down, and then I take my insulin and it brings it back up. Good. What if I said I'm going to take 50 carbs? Uh, I'm going to eat 50 carbs of pineapple. Okay, so it goes back down. It, what's the difference between 50 carbs of pineapple and 50 carbs of apples? Um, the reality is the glycemic index would help determine that. When you th So here's, and for me, when I hear glycemic index, I think speed. Uh, there's a lot of conversation, uh, a lot of, you know, if you go look online about glycemic index, they get into a lot of technical talk about it, but the reality is glycemic index is it really is about the speed at which your body breaks down those carbs. So apples, which I, the glycemic index for apples is in the 30s, and the glycemic index for pineapple is, I think, in the high 60s, 70s, something like that. So here's here's the difference. If I eat 50 pounds or 50 pounds, 50 carbs of apples, my blood sugar, my my glucose is going to go like this. But notice the speed at which it went down. If I eat 50 carbs of pineapples, it's going to go like that. Okay, so think in terms of control, what's better? Um, 
if I'm eating 50 carbs of apples and it does this, I can check my blood, you know, 30 minutes, hour, minute later, and I may notice, ooh, you know what, I forgot to take my insulin or whatever, and I can make some adjustments to bring that back up. But if it's down here and it gets there quicker, it's, hard, it's obviously harder to control, and you're going to end up playing this game a lot if you eat high um, glycemic index foods. Uh, if you eat the lower ones, right, it's just, it's a slower game. You, you still have to, insulin doesn't change. You still got to, you've got to uh, counterbalance with the appropriate amount of insulin to bring it back, but it's a much slower game. And with a slower game, you can do quicker, better control, right? Um, this is um, ultimately for me, when I think glycemic index, I think speed. And so I want my body to be able to react to the foods as slow as possible so that I can jump on it quicker. Okay, so now let's talk about block. Ooh, place this block. Um, why, how does block figure into all this? Well, think about it. If I'm taking 50 carbs of apples, or let's, let's go the other way. Let's do the higher glycemic index food. Let's do the pineapple. Um, if I'm taking 50 carbs of the pineapple, which does this, if I'm taking block with that, am I, that those 50 carbs... They go, it goes quick, but I'm not taking quite as much carbs. Or I'm, I'm taking as much carbs, but with the block, you've got the absorption that's happening with the block. So if I can remove my body from, that doesn't make any sense, if I could allow my body to not absorb as many carbs, I'm still playing this quick game because it's a high uh, glycemic index food, but it's not as many carbs. So instead of this game, maybe I'm playing this game, right? But if you look at the pattern over time, it is, I'd much rather play this game quick than this game quick. I hope that makes sense. Um, so block, while, you know, its its main role is the absorption of, of those sugars, of those carbs, you ultimately want to be able to reduce those carbs. And if I could do that, look, if in a perfect world, we'd all eat low glycemic index foods. We'd all take our block. And um, I think that, that's, that's the huge benefit of block is to be able to um, remove some of those carbs or allow those carbs to be passed through and not absorbed into the body. So probably did a little bit of rambling there. Look, I'm just a man trying to please his wife and do what she asked me to do. So be gentle on me. Um, hope you enjoyed it. If you got questions, I guess ask me.